The reason I invited you here is because I want to offer you the exclusive opportunity to buy in to my company before it explodes and we're worth $50 million. Thanks, Billy. Uh, I'm honored, but in all honesty, like none of your past companies have really like panned out very well. This one's different. It's revolutionary. Do you remember Octo Rails? You said if quad rails are good, Octo Rails are twice as good. So you could like attach like twice as many flashlights and junk onto your Air 15. The market just wasn't ready for that. The Octo Rail was ahead of its time. What was that one that you called? Blink triggers, where you would hook your eyelid to the trigger so that every time you blinked, it fired the gun. You said that one was gonna make you rich. If you think about it though, it takes less energy to blink your eye than to pull with your trigger finger. So it's honestly a really good idea that I'm not really sure why it didn't take off. You have to hook your eye to a gun. This idea is different. This is better. So you know how silencers have been all the rage for the last few years? Everybody wants a silencer. Everybody loves silencers. Yeah, I'm listening. I love silencers. Well, to get rich, you have to be ahead of the curve. You have to figure out what's coming next before someone else invents that next thing. And I have figured out what everyone is gonna want next. Sweet, hit me. Loud insers. Loud insers? It makes your gun four times louder. That's the dumbest thing I've ever seen. What? Welcome to Demolition Ranch, a very exciting episode planned for you today and it's made possible by our sponsors, War Robots. I've been playing the game for a few months now. It's actually really awesome. Over 90 million players have installed the game. If you download and install now, you get a huge starter pack of one Boa robot plus unique skin for it. The robot's naturally durable, tons of HP, you get a full set of weapons, 400,000 silver, and 100 gold. The game offers a large variety of robots and weapons for tons of combination options. You can choose your own robot and choose how you play the game. Rich 3D graphics, constant content updates, new robots, new maps, and new game modes. Go check out the game, link in description. You guys know I like suppressors. And so I brought a few suppressors out today for us to play with. We've got a 22, we've got a 9 millimeter, 9 millimeter, 7.62 by 39, and a 5.56. We're gonna be doing a few tests. This is some homemade body armor sent to me from a fan, one of you guys, Cole. This is just a like two inch thick piece of like really hard rubber. And then this is a steel plate with some sheet metal panels duct taped to it. Homemade body armor is something I'm really interested in, and so Cole thought it'd be cool to send this, and I appreciate that. We also, one of you guys sent me this. This is a decibel reader. So in a lot of my videos I say, wow, this is really quiet, or this is really loud, guys, but you can't tell, because the camera flattens out all the audio. It wants it to not have spikes and be hard to hear. So it makes the loud stuff normal, and it makes the quiet stuff normal. And so you, you can't tell if something's louder or quieter. But now we will have definitive proof if it is louder or quieter. And I'm excited about that. I also want to test this. This is my newest suppressor. It is a Pro Series 5.6 Po' Boy Suppressor by Black Aces Tactical. You can read it there. So what's interesting about this suppressor is it's way cheaper than most suppressors. So most suppressors, like this one are like, I think that one's like 800 bucks or something. And then on top of that, you have to pay a $200 tax stamp to the government, the NFA tax. This suppressor is only $200 plus your $200 tax stamp. So 200 versus 800. So this is a SIG suppressor. And I brought the packaging here because I want you to see how different the boxes are. These suppressors are nearly identical in size, but this one comes in a little cardboard box wrapped in a piece of paper. This one is just, the box is so nice. I mean like, whoops, upside down. 
look how nice this box is. Okay, so that's that's a little different in presentation. But honestly, who cares about presentation, right? I mean, does the product work or does it not work? So that's that may be where they're that may be where they're cutting some cost. But either way, I've never seen a suppressor, especially a 5.56 suppressor, that only costs two hundred dollars. And so this is going to be a game changer if it works. If you can get away with having a suppressor that's that cheap, they're gonna sell like crazy. Okay, so change the plan. So I actually looked at my sound meter and we're not gonna be able to do this because it only goes from a range of 30 decibels to 130 decibels, which uh, I only have one gun I think that'll shoot under 130 decibels. And that's this one, a 22 long rifle, when it's suppressed. When it's not suppressed, just so you can hear it, Okay, that's, according to the internet, about 152 decibels out of a 22 long rifle pistol. Now let me suppress it so you can see what it sounds like. And now suppress, you can see that we are not at 152 decibels. 106. A 9mm pistol unsuppressed, so without this giant silencer on it, is about 160 decibels. So I don't know if this is going to read when it is suppressed. 115 and I don't think that 115 is correct because I then loaded up my Maxim 9 and I put subsonic ammo in it Which was noticeably quieter to the ear and it still said the same on the decibel reader So I think my decibel reader works for the 22 It doesn't work for anything. It's not made for firearms and we can't test these because even suppressed These guns should be over 130 decibels. They're like 132 or something like that. So we're not gonna be able to actually get the decibel reading, so. But we can go ahead and play with some suppressors and see how these targets work. So let's shoot the rubber first. That looked like it went straight through, and then the metal. That might have stopped. Rubber, clean pass through. Metal stopped it. Cool. I did accidentally hit it with a nine millimeter earlier when I was just testing. I was just like pointing down range and shooting and I nailed it with a nine and it did go straight through. We'll shoot it again, not on the edge, just to make sure that that is the case. Two subsonics. Ha <laughs> ha! Cole, unfortunately, we're gonna have to say that uh, all this armor is just, yeah, it's not armor. So, good try, buddy. Thanks for the, you know, the effort. Oh, cool. Ow, it's hot. So we did go through the armor, but then it stopped on the cinder block. So when a subsonic 9mm will go through your armor, not good armor, but the cinder block stopped it. Now onto the big boy guns. So I have a 7.62x39 AR-15 here uh, with no suppressor, and then I have the 5.56 chambered AR with no suppressor. I'm gonna fire them both into the dirt, very close together so you can just kind of get an idea of what they sound like. and now suppressed, also shooting into the dirt. This one's definitely quieter. Man, they're both quiet. I'm wearing earmuffs because I'm shooting supersonic bullets. So they're cracking. They have a sonic boom. They are loud. The guns themselves are not loud, but the bullets are loud. So Matt, how does suppressors work? I don't know, let's find out together. So I'm gonna take this thing apart. This is my, this is actually a 45 ACP suppressor that I have an adapter so it'll fit on a nine millimeter. That's one end of it. And the other end is how you get to the, the baffles. And the baffles are what make the suppressor magic work. One more. So this is just a hollow tube, as you can see. And inside it are these baffles and so as a bullet passes through the gas behind it gets caught in here over and over these are a bunch of different baffles 
So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So there's ten baffles in this one. And so every time it catches the gas behind it, quieting that explosion. The explosion is what's so loud in a gun. So you have it pass through all these, quiets it down. By the time it comes out, it's not loud anymore. Talking is around 70 decibels. A lawnmower is in the 80 to 90 decibel range. And so those are totally hearing safe if you have a small amount of it. So if you're like around a large engine for eight hours straight, it can damage your hearing. If you just have a little blast of it real quick, it won't, apparently. I've been doing some research. Just like a suppressor. The suppressors are no big deal when they suppress down like to the 120 decibel range, 130 even is what I've seen is hearing safe as long as it's an impulse sound, a little quick snap. You can't listen to 130 decibels all day or it will definitely damage your hearing. And so that's why you'll see people running suppressors on rifles like this, but they still have ear protection on. Sometimes you forget and you put your hot suppressor down on your plastic table and it melts the table. Yeah, we're good, just got a little, little divot. And the gun has a little smudge, dang it. So a $200 suppressor, who cares? Why do I think this is cool? Why is it groundbreaking enough to talk about right now? The reason is, is because I have never, my entire life, understood why a suppressor would cost $900, $1,000, $1,100, $1,200. It's just a piece of metal with pieces of metal inside it. I understand there's machining that goes into it. I understand there's computers that make this. But a pocket knife takes machining, it takes computers, some of them, and they can manufacture them and sell them for 70 bucks for a really nice one. So why is this thing over 10 times as expensive? Not this one in particular, but a suppressor. I never understood it. And I get that there's quality differences, there's metal differences, some are lighter than others, which would be a plus, but $200 is the cheapest one I've ever seen for a 5.56, and it works, so why not? Is a $1,000 suppressor really five times better than this one? That's the question that you need to ask your... There went my $800 suppressor rolling off the table. That's the question you need to ask yourself, and I have no affiliation with this company. I uh, just think that a $200 suppressor is pretty cool. And the fact that you don't have to worry about it getting too hot is pretty sweet. Woo! <laughs> I set it over there now so it doesn't burn the table. Thanks for watching Demolition Ranch. I love you and I'll see you next time. Contact. That's a great idea. <laughs> what about the quad hawk? Ish.